New Jean's actually getting investigated for that iPhone thing. 5050's court mediation results. Spoiler alert, it's kind of what we were expecting. Why hashtag apologize to Lisa is trending and why the actual news are covering it. The World Scout Jamboree thing today in protest trucks and so much more. So if you're interested, then please keep on watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and share this video with friends you don't have. You can also skip through to whatever interests you using the timestamps below. Oh. Starting off with the story that we covered previously, the New Jeans iPhone situation. So what basically happened was the group performed on Inkigayo. They whipped out an iPhone 14 and they started filming with it. So we of course could see that they themselves had the iPhone, but the show itself also switched between their own cameras and the iPhone feed for about 20 seconds, let's say, and they're like, two minute song. So people saw this and they started going online on forums to discuss whether or not this went against the Korea Communication Standard Commission. Because as far as I know, on music shows, you are not allowed to promote brands. This is why they have tape on clothing. This is why they change lyrics to songs that feature brand names. Of course, in the video where I covered this, I gave amazing examples. Two baddies, two baddies, one Porsche became two baddies, two baddies, one squad. I also dug for some wonderful tape examples. <laughs> Like, just look at this. This is, <laughs> I can't even tell what brand that is. Can you even tell what brand I'm wearing? Adidas took inspiration from K-pop idols and they censored their own logo. But I digress. Everyone was saying that it's an overreaction, that if they're sponsored by Apple, then it's totally okay. But I think everyone was missing the point that you're not supposed to promote things on a music show. No matter who you are, no matter who you're sponsored by, it doesn't matter that ETA was sponsored by Apple. That music video was sponsored by Apple. You're just not supposed to advertise. With some people saying it's good that these rules are in place because otherwise it's gonna be like K drama where there's blatant advertising and you cannot escape it and it's really not that cool. So it's not that they're sponsored by Apple, so it's okay, like what do you expect? It's actually that it's a rule that you're not allowed to advertise. Now in my video, I theorize that as long as we don't see the logo, it should be fine, right? Because obviously idols are wearing brand names on stage and the way they're covering it with tape, I mean, let's be honest, they're not, they're not doing a good job at, at de-advertising, do you know what I mean? Here's a quiz, tell me right now what brand name this is. You, you know what brand it is. They just do it to do it, right? Cause you're not allowed to advertise. So they put the tape to, to show, hey, look, we're not being sponsored by them. So I theorize, of course, if you don't see the iPhone logo, then maybe it's okay. But who knows, maybe the iPhone is just too recognizable that even if you see the three little cameras, inherently you already know it's an iPhone and because they're sponsored by iPhone, it creates a conflict of interest, I don't know. I just thought as long as you don't see the logo, it should be fine, right? Because they do such a shit job at covering the logos with tape. So I don't know, that's just what I thought. But it seems actually that the Korea Communication Standards Commission is investigating the issue. Let's take a little look here. I have spicy in my head. Didn't run in a move or not in a groove. If you hear any crying, it's because my dogs are very dramatic. You should see my dog right now, she's laying on the floor. I offered to, Take her on the couch with my other dog. Do you want to see Kevin? He's like Jello. This is Kevin. The other one, she's on the floor. She looks like she's dying. Just look at her little reflection in the mirror. Isn't that pitiful? Okay. So, New Jeans ETI iPhone performance on Inkigayo under review by the Korea Commission Standard Commission. I just said that. Meanwhile, according to Article 47 of Regulations on Broadcasting Deliberation, it is stipulated that indirect advertisements should not interfere with the flow of viewing. Content that significantly hinders the flow of viewing by exposing indirect advertising products etc. that are not related to the development or composition of the contents of the broadcasting program, excessively highlighting or repeatedly exposing indirect advertising products, etc. or indirect advertising product names, etc. Content that hinders the flow of viewing excessive... Am I just reading the same thing over and over again? Content that hinders the flow of viewing by excessively highlighting or specifically introducing scenes that demonstrate the function of indirect advertising products or scenes that use them is subject to regulation by the National Guard. So... In theory, my theory might have been totally off. Sure, maybe we can't specifically see the iPhone logo, but the fact that they're not only filming with the iPhone, but that the company themselves, Inkigayo, are also switching between their own feed and the iPhone feed, though cute as hell, might be ruining the flow through advertising. Anyways, I'm really curious to see what comes out of this. There's a lot of investigations going on right now. Investigations into Nugent's iPhone usage, investigations into how companies might be making photo cards rare to make you buy more albums. I want results, I need them actually. 
Next up, in another story that we previously covered, we had 5050's case that was being referred to mediation. So what is mediation? Apparently it's kind of, uh, I, I think I'm gonna mess this up. Listen, when two parties try to get together and come to an agreement, so you're not like going to court necessarily, you're not in front of a judge, you don't have like a jury deciding this stuff, you try to amicably maybe not so amicably come to an agreement of sorts. Now, a lot of people were kind of suggesting that if they could have come to an agreement in the first place, we wouldn't, we wouldn't have been here. Like none of this would have happened, right? And I also assumed the same thing. You know, they want very different things, so it's very unlikely, but not totally out of the question. However, it seems that the first court mediation session between 5050 and Attract concludes with no agreement. The mediation went on for two hours, but ultimately the two sides were successful in arriving at an agreement that would satisfy both parties. The arbitrating court, however, suggested that additional discussions be held between the opposing sides until August 16th. And this is the position that a track side maintains. Any issues over payments and balances can be resolved through dialogue once the members return to the company. As long as they are willing to return to the company, we intend on taking any measures necessary to return 5050's image and status to normal with full-fledged support and resources. Sources. I don't know. I don't know who believes that. On 50 50 sides, however, they're maintaining the position that Attract failed to fulfill its contractual duties as a management label, withholding a clear account of payments and balances, failing to support the girl group's activities, and failing to care for the artist's health. So 50 50 don't seem to want to go back. I don't know what the company thinks is going to come of this with this being very public right let's say 50 50 return and everybody knows that they don't want to return how much support does the company think they are going to get by continuously trying to promote this girl group at this point i don't know we also have very different point of views from the international audience versus k netizens i've read a lot of k netizens comments being like these girls are so selfish, the poor CEO, he poured his whole heart and soul into them, his whole life savings, his money, and they just went around and stabbed him in the back. They aren't grateful, they should have just put up with it. Then the international audience is obviously on the member's side, being like, you know, F that CEO. Who knows how long it'll take before this ends. Now let's talk about hashtag apologize to Lisa. So what happened? The account Pop Crave tweeted the following. Hashtag Blackpink's hashtag Lisa looks amazing in new photos. Wave emoji. Did I need to be that descriptive? I don't know. And honestly, these photos are beautiful. I'm a sucker for water. I love water. I personally love, I love the ocean. Don't get me wrong. Just it's freaky as hell. I prefer controlled bodies of water. Anyway, all that to say, I love these photos. They're stunning. Look how blue the water is. However, one of the biggest New Jeans fan sites responded to this, basically saying she looks terrible, poop emojis, vomiting emojis, middle finger emojis, more vomit emojis, and laughing crying emojis. So this simple act garnered way more attention than I could have ever imagined. And it seems to be because this is a very large account with over 100,000 followers, 144,000 followers last last screenshot I checked because the account seems to have been deleted, but also because they have a blue check mark and you know, it's K-pop guys, it's K-pop. So New Jeans Global came out and said like, hey guys, we were, we're being hacked right now. There was other tweets being released and so on, but people weren't buying it. A lot of people are actually theorizing that the account owner forgot to switch accounts before commenting that. So, you know, you have your New Jeans Global, you're running a fan site, but you happen to hate Lisa from Blackpink and you have your second account where you go and talk shit. But they're theorizing that this person forgot to switch the account and ended up commenting on the New Jeans Global account and then switched their story saying that they got hacked. So of course, everyone starts tweeting, apologize to Lisa. They want this fan account to apologize. So anyways, a fan war ensued. Now this got so big that a news channel in Thailand and the Philippines actually covered this. If we take a look i saved the tweets come to spicy for you hoes top worldwide trend tag apologize to lisa at new jeans global was reported in thailand news most fans want a sincere apology from the poster can you imagine like the news news is covering this i'll cover anything right i mean as much as you guys appreciate my journalism i am filming this in my room we're just not on the same level here so this is just so funny to me then this other one new jeans global hate comment against black Pink Lisa was featured on Philippine national TV, TV5's Frontline Tonight News. 
Apologize to Lisa at New Jeans Global. Let's just see if they're still gone. <gasps> They're back. They lost a thousand followers, it seems. Again, amazing journalism, right? Thank God I checked. So here is their official statement. Let's give it a read, okay? Around 1.40 a.m. UK time, one of our admins noticed that a bunny, New Jeans fan, had sent us a DM. In this DM, they had sent a tweet we had posted. We don't have any notifications on, so we didn't immediately notice when this tweet was posted. This admin immediately deleted this tweet as it was hate and asked the group chat who posted it, Proof is provided below. This person started to DM the fan some weird things and they look closely the DM for safety. Please be aware our admins are all in different time zones and different phones, hence all the screenshots having different times and even different layouts. Hello everyone, this is New Jeans Global. We sincerely apologize again for the incident. We have been taking a bit of time to ensure we give you a good response that clears up any misunderstandings and misinformation. Let's make something very clear before we start this discussion. We accept all criticism you have given us, but the majority of our admins are around New Jeans age 17, 19, ca oh, calling us bad things is completely disgusting and unwarranted commenting on new jeans post asking them to apologize for our mistake is not okay that is wild it's wild right we ask for lisa fans and blinks to read this statement with an open mind and understand the situation without any biases we also ask for lisa accounts and blinks to stop warranting the hate against new jeans and speak against it new jeans are not the ones who cause this so they do not deserve the repercussion of our mistake please do not target other fan bases they have absolutely no correlation with us and nothing to do with us we are so sorry to the other fan bases who have had to endure the hate because of our careless action we would never purposely put our partners in harm's way around 1 30 a.m uk time a few of our admins were online updating about new updates from new jeans and an interview from their music video director Sok. so they have some screenshots here we have people being confused oh that's it Oh, so they said that they're not going to be answering any more questions, but they have apologized and they will apologize again to Lisa and all the damage that this has caused. Our team has acknowledged we lack security, we were careless, and we need a better team. We formally apologize to Lalisa Manovan for our lack of professionalism. <gasps> They also apologize to bunnies for the disappointment this may have caused. And lastly, we apologize to new jeans who don't deserve the malicious comments for a lack of professionalism and their fan base. I can't imagine. Now, correct me if I'm wrong. These fan sites don't get paid, right? So we will be back with this issue investigated with a completely new team. Did everyone get just fired? <laughs> this is some serious shit. So they're basically claiming that they did apologize but the tweets got taken down and they're reposting apparently their apology. Their apology. I posted a short about this last night. So here's some of the comments that I received. I don't know if some links realize that they are creating an association to Blackpink that is very toxic and annoying. They seem like they adore the group and yet they really just drive other people away with their annoying bully bullshit. Why did it even make the news? The sad thing is that because of them, a fan war between bunnies and blinks can and will happen. And sadly, bunnies are not going to win. Blinks are by far the most toxic and aggressive fan base in K-pop, only being matched by ARMY. And I can say this because I'm both Blink and ARMY. Bunnies don't stand a chance, and I don't mean that in a competition type of way. I mean it in a they should avoid a fan war with blinks for their own safety kind of way. The fact that there's actual news reporting this is hilarious and ridiculous. Why did this one hate tweet out of plenty from being a celebrity start a hashtag? Is it because it was a fan account? Pretty normal day in K-Bob. I don't know why we were all freaking out, to be honest. 100% intention to start fan wars. I hope this doesn't hurt new jeans. Reminds me of that group chat that paid people to post hate comments. We we all know the hacked excuse is straight up BS. So I have a genuine question. In situations like this where people are demanding for an apology, if you get the apology, and I mean in this situation there's plenty of apologies going around. I mean do you accept that apology or do you just enjoy the drama surrounding all of it and in the end you don't really care about the apology because you're still going to be mad at this situation? Genuine question! This isn't targeted to anyone, any fandom. Because personally if I'm like so extremely mad about something the last thing I would want is an apology because in the moment I'm actually too heated about not K-pop related necessarily. No but I'm genuinely curious like when you Trent apologize to Lisa do you actually then accept the apology? Like, I've just seen too many situations where an apology doesn't really fix anything. Just anyways, let me know what you think. What do you believe about the situation? And do you accept the apology? Moving on to today in protest trucks, my 
favorite thing ever. Now this one is actually juicy. I mean, the past couple protest trucks we've seen, it's like, my idol isn't shining enough and you should do more to make them shine. This time they want this member to get kicked out of the group because they may or may not be dating. So I've been seeing a lot of posts going around that Joshua is allegedly dating someone and they're like digging up this girl's accounts and her past. Also calling her very pretty. I have to admit she has a very addictive smile. Is that a good word to say? enlightening wow. give me a how do you compliment someone's smile i'm like blanking right now just a very beautiful smile i have to admit alleged potential girlfriend who knows this random lady has a beautiful smile so fans are apparently sending protest tracks calling for joshua to leave 17 after the dating rumors i mean they were gathering evidence right left and center that they had similar bracelets that they're kind of posting couple photos and all of that jazz. They seem to be very convinced of this. Though it's really important that Pletus has not come out and confirmed anything. Pletus hasn't, okay, for Exo, for Chen and Exo, it's like he himself said, hey guys, I got married and had eight children, I don't know. For Joshua, Pletus didn't even confirm anything. The fans are just so convinced that it's true. <laughs> But my favorite part about this protest, Chuck, is that it's not just about him dating. It literally says, Joshua leave. We're against dating, lip syncing, <laughs> and PDA. Me, I mean a quarter of me. A celebrity who tramples the hard work of his members and the sincerity of his fans should have no future. This is absolutely insane. Okay, I just wanted to check with my shitty ass Korean to make sure it did say lip sync. I'm like, maybe they translated that wrong. Are they really putting lip sync and dating in the same category? Because as far as I know, every K-pop stan and their mother seem to not care about lip syncing anymore. I come across live concert performances where the idols are clearly lip syncing and none of the comments even care. They're just like slay. Oh my God, amazing stage presence. Wow, wonderful, great. Because if it was something that bothered them, everyone would be like, um, lip syncing, question mark, question mark. Why aren't they singing live, question mark. Nobody cares anymore. It's just a fifth gen thing. You wouldn't understand. <laughs> Should I show you a picture of his girl, alleged girlfriend though? She's really pretty. Joshua girlfriend. So people are saying that she was on a, a dating reality show before. Do you see what I mean about her smile? She has a very pretty smile. <laughs> Let's talk about the 25th World Scout Jamboree. Cause it seems that idols were pressured into performing at this event. So what is the 2023 World Scout Jamboree? Good old Wikipedia will tell us. And actually on Wikipedia, there's already all the juicy details of what went wrong. So it's like, it's like scout, scout stuff. I guess like camping and cookies? I don't know. Criticisms and failures. People were realizing immediately as they started arriving that there were sanitation issues, transportation issues, infrastructure issues, and other basic needs of the visiting scouts were not going to be met. I heard it was very hot as well. People were getting sick from the heat. Poor planning and execution led to serious issues that were later heightened by the higher than anticipated temperature. And it seems that they received like $153 million as a budget, but there wasn't even proper drainage at the facility on the event site. It also started raining a lot and there was a heat wave and they didn't have enough food and there was supposed to be a K-pop concert. So K-pop Super Live was supposed to be held on August 6th, but it was rescheduled to August 11th. Now, of course, idols have very busy schedules. So for something to be rescheduled, I'm sure not everyone would be able to make it. So it seems that Dispatch exposes idol groups being pressured into performing following the 2023 World Scout Jamboree blunders. In a bid to recover from the embarrassment of the failure of the global event hosted by the South Korean Ministry of Culture, Sports, and Tourism, top entertainment agencies are now under pressure. Leading K-pop idols are seemingly being urged to grace the stage at the K-pop Super Live concert for the 2023 World Scout Jamboree. So the South Korean Ministry of Culture, Sports, and Tourism is kind of like, hey guys, you, you have to do us a solid here. We're struggling. This event ended up being total shit show. I've read a lot of people actually comparing it to the Fire Festival, if you guys remember that. And like I said, the event was originally scheduled for the 6th. So according to Dispatch, a lot of companies are being pressured into changing their artist schedules to then fit the rescheduling of said event. Additionally, it has been reported that these entertainment companies are supplying the event with K-pop merchandise to appease the disappointed scouts. So HYBE sent a bunch of BTS merch. Can you imagine you go somewhere and it's like flooding and it's really hot and disgusting, but there's BTS merch. <laughs> I 
at least, you know? Dispatch also interviewed some entertainment companies with one of them saying, we don't have the power to reject a national event. We can only change our schedules to attend. Now, K-pop stands did not react very gracefully to this because, of course, they... They appreciate their idols so much and their idols' time and their artist schedule. And they feel as though this jamboree thing is totally disrespecting that. Like, oh, you're pressuring these idols into changing all their schedules around when they're so busy already and overworked and underpaid and all this jazz. Another entertainment agency said, we canceled all our idols' schedules for Sunday, August 6th, but then they changed the date suddenly to the 11th Friday. Now we're in the process of fixing our schedules for Friday. And it seems that these companies might even be doing this for free, that there might not be any payment, right? Not only do they have to make space once for something for free, but they might have to potentially do it again again, for something that they might not get paid for. We also had Ive in the news who said that they voluntarily switched around their schedules to be able to attend the event with the Minister of Culture, Sports and Tourism saying, I volunteered to perform, even canceling their other commitment to keep their promise. We believe the 2023 World Scout Jamboree will be able to end on the charms of K-pop thanks to Ive who is the top of the industry joining the lineup. So I've stands are not having it. I literally read a comment that said, oh, I voluntarily switched their schedules. I doubt that since One Young literally hates rain. Now I do need to remind you guys that these idols are professional entertainers. Idols probably don't like a lot of things that are part of the job. Just like if you go to your own job, there's probably a lot of things that you don't like and you still do it anyways. I understand the want to coddle idols all the time, but that comment, <laughs> took me out. Like she's not made of cotton candy, she'll be fine, okay? Like, <laughs> it just felt like a funny reason to be like, no, that's wrong, because she actually hates the rain. Like, do you think she actually has a choice? Do you think much of any of us have the choice of much of anything in this life? I, okay. All that to say, people are very upset with this. So that is basically it for this video. Thank you so much for joining me. Don't forget to let me know all of your thoughts down below. And also don't forget to like, comment, and share this video with friends you don't have. These are the lovely individuals who help support my channel on a monthly basis. It means the world to me. Thank you so much. You can too by joining my Patreon, which is linked in the description. As for me, I'm going to get going, but I'll see you guys next time. Bye!